Hello Gemini and welcome to part two of uh, your September 2018 love reading. Again, if you would like a personal, everything you guys need to know is in the description box below. Um, oh, this is one of the decks that I'm using, the Nature's Whisper deck. Um, so we just did part one, so this is part two. Let's just go ahead and uh, jump right into it, Gemini. Um, so presently, the energy surrounding you in love right now is uh, the Eight of Cups. Um, so the Eight of Cups, I feel like presently you um, might, might be watching somebody walk away. Maybe somebody walked away from you or they did in the past um and maybe gemini you are represented as the child in this card see how he looks kind of um confused almost concerned um and maybe you were a little confused by this or concerned for um your partner um Yeah, I just feel like with the Eight of Cups here, there's a need for you to get um, get some some distance from this situation so that you can um, assess this more clearly and with less emotional baggage because um, the cups do represent our emotions. And maybe some of you guys um, were dealing with a water sign or somebody that has water in their chart, but it doesn't have to be a water sign. Um, yeah, just make sure that Gemini, um, presently, that um, you really try to look at um, the root cause of um, your sorrow, of your sadness, if if you are feeling um, that way presently. Um, don't take all the blame either, Gemini, um, but don't really assign the blame to others either. Um, I feel like everybody might have had a part um, in this situation here. Um, and the comment, or the comment here in the background, um, that signifies that, um, you've just reached an important milestone in your life. So, yeah, congratulations, Gemini. You guys did just reach an important milestone. So, um, you know, make sure you, you recognize that, um, and you acknowledge that how far you have come so far already in your life, maybe, or or how far you have come so far in this love situation or with this person that you're dealing with. And maybe even like the comment, maybe some of you guys wished something. Maybe you're presently wishing for something, but see like how the cups are like cracked and like not filled. So they're like empty, broken cups. But maybe you guys wished for something in the past or you are wishing for something. And maybe, you know, the situation right now kind of looks like these cups. But um, the comments here, maybe um, a wish might be coming soon for you. Or um, you guys are really working hard to manifest um the best outcome trying to manifest the best circumstance presently with um with what you have is what I'm kind of feeling um and you know and what does seem like an ending <clears throat> is only a new beginning and we do have the ace of swords um here so the ace of swords is all about um truth it's about clarity. Um, we have the eagle here. And the eagle here is holding a wreath. And um, that signifies that this is like the ultimate victory. So again, in the past, remember that you guys did get the uh, six of wands. Oh, wow. That's weird how that flipped over like that. Ah. Because in the past, the Six of Wands showed up like this. 
And to me, I take this as like a hard won battle. Like you were really going through this to get to this victory. And look at how it flipped over. This side looks so much nicer, so much calmer. Maybe there's a, a reason why. Maybe, maybe the victory is going to... Maybe the uh, situation will end up smoothing it out. Maybe presently, maybe in the past it felt more like this because it was so fresh, such a fresh new victory. And now it's almost like you're starting to like settle into this victory is how i um, picking that up. But yeah, um, some sort of truth, some sort of clarity. And like I said, the eagle here um, holding the wreath <clears throat> symbol symb symbolizes ultimate victory. This could either, um, this could even be a new idea, Gemini. Um, could be a divinely inspired idea. Uh, but whatever it is, it will lead to, uh, success. Um, or you guys might have some sort of vision. But that's more like, that's more for this side. But I mean... It, it it's it still goes both ways either side with the ace of swords um just know that whatever idea or any inspiration whatever you are undertaking currently at this time it will be a success so if it does have to do with love it will be a success even though it kind of looks maybe not the best maybe not the you know Maybe not the most emotionally fulfilling right now, but this did flip over like this, the card from from the past. So I feel like this will be a success. It It is going to be a, a very good victory between you and your person. I feel like um, some of you guys will be working things out with um, the person you are dealing with. Um, so... Could be dealing with another air sign such as your, such as yourself, but you don't have to be. But yeah, maybe um, you know you're delivering some sort of truth, some sort of clarity to someone, or someone is bringing some sort of truth or clarity to you. Maybe regarding you know this wish, this um, eight of cups. Um, you could be concerned about some sort of new idea or um, vision that that you have for this relationship or. Um, Really anything that could be um, on your mind right now. Whatever um, you're thinking about when it pertains to these cards. But this is a love read. So we'll try and keep it um, to love. You guys even got um, From the Universe Has Your Back deck. You have I Surrender to a Power Greater Than Me. So I feel like currently, Gemini, you guys are surrendering to a higher power. You guys are surrendering this situation to um the divine and i feel like you guys are going to put full faith full trust into um spirit and even um you know if if you were trying to work things you know like with 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 this past person they could even be tr um trying to surrender to a greater power as well and i feel like um when you guys do get into this energy of surrendering to um a greater power and um just letting the divine help you um, sort this out. You will, um, you will get your your victory here. You will get your truth, your clarity, and I don't know. I I see shooting star, star, and I I also think of a wish as well. Or you guys could be coming to a really important milestone in this uh relationship or this situationship whatever you want to call it <laughs> um you guys also got presently true love this is the romance of a lifetime so you feel like this person could be your true love gemini or this person feels that about you or this really is your true love we have an angel here in the background looking over this couple What else? We have a no card here. We have a firm no card. And I don't know why that's here. But maybe it'll tie in at some point. But we'll leave that here. For some reason, there's a no. Maybe it has to do with this Eight of Cups. 
I want to say. May well, let's keep going. We have surrender your addictions. Um, so presently, this is what needs to be surrendered in um, your love situation, whether this is you or your person. And these addictions could be anything. It doesn't have to be drugs um, or alcohol, but could be. Um, says whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And maybe, because um, I feel like you guys were very anxious, very worried in the past. You still might be now. Um, maybe you just have to, maybe, you know, surrender your addictions to overthinking, um, over worrying too much, but it could be anything. It could be, um, you know, maybe you're shopping too much, eating too much. Um, you're just working too much. And maybe, maybe, maybe it's a no because you don't have clarity right now on this like true love situation. Maybe, may, maybe you don't have the clarity right now on this situation. Or maybe no, somebody, somebody is not doing the work to surrender their addictions. Um, what else? We have three more cards. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's just do this. Tighten this again. Okay. <clears throat> it falls once and then I got to hold it the whole time. You guys got show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. So, and you also got <clears throat> amplify your positive emotions. So maybe, no, you're not in this space of feeling positive. I want to read. I want to read. I wanna, this one's, okay. So number seven. So for amplify your positive emotions, that's page 24. It says here. There is a ripple effect of energy flowing from you. Be positive. Simply staying happy and sending that happiness out from your heart will benefit those around you. As you adjust your motives and attitudes, this energy flows from you in concentric circles, affecting all of your desires and beliefs. There is a chance to bring good fortune and influences to all of the events in your life. As circles also represent cycles, know that you are continually going in and out of cycles, growing and changing. With every ending comes a new beginning. Trust that the positive energy you radiate will attract what you wish for. Oh, now I'm getting like so many. Maybe for some of you, you thought this person in the past was like a true love, but they're not. For some of you, I am feeling that somebody new might be coming in. I don't know how soon. And this new person might really be your true love. Um, or somebody is not showing kindness in this situation show simple acts of kindness I want to read from this one too that one's number five page 20 One of the amazing aspects of being loving is that love also supports us. It is a it, it is good to remember that when we are kind to others, we look for more opportunities to show kindness. When others are kind to us in return, we are motivated to pass that kindness on. Take a moment to show kindness and bring more love into the world. So, yeah, and that's like another great way to really raise your vibration and raise your energy is just being kind to people, holding open a door or um, even just offering a smile um, to somebody. Um, and, you know, just showing simple acts of kindness to um, your partner could really go a long way. Um, you know, like go like helping them take out the trash or, 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 or something or help them run errands. Just doesn't have to be anything like that. It could, could be something more simple, but yeah, just spirit. I feel like maybe you guys are already in this energy where, where you guys are just, um, already acting like this. Um, but spirit definitely wants you to get in this sort of energy. 
um, maybe being around pets or animals at this time could be, um, could be very nice for you, very healing, relaxing for you, nature, being in nature even. I mean, you got, like, even showing, like, you guys could even just go out one weekend if you're out and about, maybe, like, hiking or out at the park somewhere and, um, you know, just bring some seeds or something and throw them out to, to the birds and, and the squirrels. But, yeah, or, see, I just, I don't really know why this no card is here. That's really throwing me for a loop because I, I feel like I could kind of, this could really, or no, like maybe you're having a hard time. Well, I think I already said that. Amplifying your positive emotions. Let's see. Oh, the Rumi Oracle deck. You have a card. What are we? We're at 16 minutes. So the card from the Rumi Oracle deck, you guys got the all encompassing hand. Um, so the poem that goes with this card is, <clears throat> you are the essence of my existence. Who am I? A mirror in your hand. Whatever you do, I will do. I am your irresistible reflection. With every breath I feel, my heart is beating with yours. In your joy, I am exuberant. In your sadness, I am in sorrow. If you are bitter, I become bitter. If you are grace, I become grace. My joy is when I am bewildered in your beauty and taste the sweetness of love on your lips. If I pick a rose without you, it becomes a thorn in my hand. If I am the thorn, I become the rose in your hand. So I really was getting twin flame vibes with this or like soulmate. Again, we do have true love here. So this person, I feel like you and this person might be mirroring each other for some of you. Um, yeah. Because it does say, um, who am I? A mirror in your hand. So whatever you do, this person mirrors and whatever this person does, I feel like you mirror them. It's like vice versa. It goes goes both ways um and I feel like either this is you or the person you're dealing with Gemini but you know when you are sad this person is sad or when this person is sad you are sad because they're sad um yeah what else I want to read um I want to read the um, the ritual for this card as well, if you guys would like to do that. I feel kind of bad. I didn't do that with Aries or Taurus, but I should start reading the the uh, rituals for you guys, if, if you guys would like to do them. So, yeah, and with this card, I'm also getting, um, pay attention to your dreams as well. Um, try and keep like a journal so that so that you can journal and jot down um, your dreams and like symbols um, and meditation will definitely help. Um, I feel the divine really wants to reach out for you um, or to you, Gemini, and definitely help you with this. Um, but maybe you're you're not doing the work and like you're not like meditating, but the divine really wants you to um, get quiet, get grounded um, so they can come to you and, and um, help you bring um, some sort of idea or like inspiration or clarity, which you could probably, um, obtain that through your, uh, meditation. Um, so you guys could either say this in your head or say it aloud. Um, place one hand resting upon the other with your palms joined together and say aloud or in your head. Through the loving grace of Rumi, brother of my soul, who loves me without condition, these hands are now blessed as the hands of the lover and the beloved, and as the one divine hand, all encompassing. I am blessed, protected, nurtured, and received. I am touched by the divine with compassionate mercy and loving tenderness. 
I call on the hand of grace to touch, heal, bless, and protect all aspects of myself and my life journey. Through divine grace, so be it. So yeah, you guys could, um, you know, just rest your hands in that same position for a mm, couple seconds, what feels good to you. Um, and if you, you know, wish, you can keep speaking um, in prayer to the divine and offer up any issue or concern that you might have, Gemini. Um, no matter how small um, you might think, you know, how small or how ish or major this issue is, um, you know, just do talk it over with the uh, divine. They are listening. They are wanting to bring you me uh, messages through uh, meditation um, or through your dreams. My sister is a Gemini, and I believe she used to have um, some crazy dreams. Sometimes she would dream things, and they would come true. So, yeah. And I'm a Gemini rising. I, I, I have Gemini in my chart pretty strongly, too. So, yeah. This was nice. This is... But um, this, this card is still bothering me. Maybe, maybe this will tie into some of the future energies, but we'll see, guys. Stay tuned for part three of your love read, and let's see uh, what the future energies have in store for you. All right, Gemini.